A winter's snow is a child's delight as it brightens up a winter's night and coats the earth in a cheery white with the snowflakes falling upon us. Snowman, snow house, hey, play with me. Shake the snow down from the tree. Games once played by you and me with the snowflakes softly falling. Hi, everybody. My name is Glenn, and I'm from Camp Kawartha on a beautiful January day, and the snow is falling. You know, snow is amazing. It starts about 15,000 feet above our heads, and little water molecules grab on to dust particles and pollen particles, and uh, eventually, as more and more bind on to those particles, they get heavy and they fall as snowflakes. And it takes billions and billions of water molecules to make one snowflake. If you're interested, well, what you can do is take any sort of black paper, put it in your freezer or put it outside for about half an hour and then it's great for catching snowflakes. If you have a magnifying glass even better because you can see up close all of those amazing snowflakes. On our website we'll put a link that uh, shows you some of the different uh, well you can see here the different types of snowflakes and check this picture out here guys this is a snowflake up close. So we'll put a link on the website. Hey, here's some other activities you can do to enjoy winter. Uh, one of the things I like to do is to get any sort of container and uh, you can put water in the container and then uh, you can make beautiful art just from the ice. So this one, I took a uh, the seed head from an echinacea. I don't know if you can quite see that. And you can hang that in the trees. This one here, actually, I just took some wild um, blackberries that I had in the freezer from the summer. And it's amazing how they've stained the ice there. That's fun to hang. This one here, I put some bird seed and they froze right into their, uh, right into the ice there. This one's really pretty, especially when the sun is shining. You can hang out. I just put an elastic. This one you can hang. And I put some cedar in there. This one here is a little bit of uh, some spruce, spruce boughs. So they look really nice, especially when the sun is shining. Hey, some other things you can do is, uh, well, there's tic-tac-toe, but I call it tic-tac-snow. Take a stick and find a a parent or a brother and sister or friend and you can draw your tic-tac-toe into the snow can you get that there I'm sure if you can see that but once you've got your your grid set up here then you do the x's and o's you can challenge yourself to that something else i enjoy doing is uh just making a maze so you'll be amazed by this just walking in the snow or taking a shovel and you can create a maze. Once you've made the maze, find a friend or bring a parent out and see if they can find their way through the maze. Oh, another thing I enjoy doing is some other types of winter art. You can, uh, this is pretty simple. In fact, you can just take the black paper you've used to catch snowflakes and once you're done, one of the things I enjoy doing is just um, gently snipping off a few uh, cedar boughs or spruce boughs. Just take a little bit off the trees. We don't want to hurt them. And uh, then I just tape them on there. And then with a little bit of paint, I put some snow drops, uh, some snowflakes. And I even painted the boughs to make it look like snow. So those are a few ideas for enjoying winter. Thanks, everybody. And check out our website for more ideas.